Okay, anyway, this is one of the more popular trees, um, very favorite of uh, Hugh Taylor Birch, and a lot of the pictures you'll see of Hugh Taylor Birch will be of him standing next to this tree, which we call the Grandfather Oak. It's well over 400 years old, and there are a few examples of the succession of how tree surgeons used to repair sick trees. And one of the first things, one of the first methods that was used, if you look closely, you'll see what looks like bricks. Mm -hmm. And what they would do, this tree was actually hollow, and they would fill it with concrete, and then just as a decorative thing, they would strike lines across the still wet concrete to make it look like it was bricks. Now, another method, you come over here towards this. This is several years later, many, many, many years later, and a different method of trying to save trees and repair damaged trees. As you can see, you can see the metal mm -hmm. that's inside where limbs have broken off of the tree. If you look closely, what's going on with the metal? It's actually bending. Well, who bent the metal? The tree bent the metal. Why did the tree bend the metal? And that brings us to the final and most common sense way for a tree to heal itself is to let it heal itself on its own. If you look around the metal part, you'll see a large ring. That's called the tree scar. That large ring is actually pushing that metal out. And over several years, that ring of live tree tissue will enclose, will close upon itself and seal up the wound from that broken limb. So if you just take care of your tree, water it, fertilize it occasionally, the tree will heal itself. And that's what it's doing right now. So you don't recommend putting concrete or anything else? Absolutely not. Not, not, unless it, not unless there's an actual active disease process going on or if it's a safety issue. Would it be safe to remove the concrete and metal right now or not? No. Um, the tree's doing the fine tree's um, it as it is, fun. even though it may not look aesthetically pleasing. But the tree is healthy. The concrete that's inside the hollow part of the live oak um, and live oaks characteristically will have large hollow spots inside of them. Um, but no, it wouldn't, uh, it would be labor intensive and would not be advantageous to the health of the tree to remove all that's been done to it. It's doing fine as it is. And again, the tree will heal itself, you know, given, you know, the right conditions and the care. So.